What's up everyone, DZ here again, bringing you some more Mass Effect 3 Adept Insanity. You already know that, why else would you click the video right, but... Anyways, uh, last time we went to the moon on Palvin and got this dude to uh, join our little cause to fight the Reapers, you know, objective of the game. And this time I'm going to see whose bitch work we can do this time, because I have to... Please, everybody. Light's kind of uh, going crazy. Sounds pretty serious. Edie taking a break. What's the deal? Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. Okay, I understand. I'll go to deck three. <laughs> So apparently she just like stopped doing her job or something. Let's uh go give her the what for. But first, sit through this load screen. <laughs> oh. And hello wall with people's names on it that have died. That list will grow, believe me. But let's head on over to the AI core, shall we? Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. I'm going in. I. <laughs> I don't even see fire, he's just like Eating. blasting the smoke with it. Oh hey, how's it going? Power him back up as soon as we get in here, what's the deal? Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Her? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Uh... A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled, thus the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. So, that's that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Edie, now a party member. Hip, hip, hooray. And here in the med bay, you have two little tables that you can use to reassign your skill points. But I'll be doing that later. Probably off screen. Don't care enough. Because, uh... On one little thing, like, on the Biotic Mastery, whatever it's called, 
I'll probably want to be, uh, I'll probably want that to have, like, extra power damage, but if I do that, I have to choose that over the, um, the Paragon bonus, the Reputation bonus, whatever it's called in this. So, there's that. And I like passing speech checks. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Uh, that was a bit... That was kind of sketchy, I don't know. So, that's a new mission available to us. We can head on over to Grissom Academy and see what's going on there. But first, let's check out what's going on up here. Hello, Edie. How's it going? No? Yes? Hey, Commander. Check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that. I would have baked a cake. <laughs> I am right here, Jack. Oh. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. The Joker is getting a little bit too into it, if you ask me. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. I can't tell if that's like a running gag or something, because <laughs> about Garrus and the calibrations. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we can skedaddle on over. You have a message from Lieutenant Commander Williams. She must be feeling better. You don't say. Meet me in Purgatory it's from Arya Tloak. Yeah, um, maybe later. And, yeah, from Thane, Cinder blocked, that's always nice. So, I say it's about high time to hit up the old galaxy map and see what we got. Do not want to be on this planet anymore, or the moon, rather, of that planet. I'm going to be running away, got what I needed. Meet with diplomats. Ugh. Rescue the students. Hmm. I guess it would be beneficial to do this first. As much as I hate the chit chat. That was actually pretty low. <laughs> that might have picked up on my headset the whole mass relay thing. Should probably turn that down. As much as I hate to do lots and lots of chit chat back to back, it is a large part of this game, so. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. Yeah. I hope this doesn't start another war. What he said. This Krogan is just a glorified thug. How can he speak for his people? By demanding risk. Fact. And I suggest the Solarian show some by starting with my name, Erdnoth Reed. 
Yeah. This guy would be Rex if you uh if he wasn't actually dead, but wham wham. Sniffing around my own planet. Reeve spare us the bluster. I'm not a diplomat and neither are you. So stop pretending and just tell us what you want. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. You need our help? Then here's what you're going to do. Cure the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You hid behind us while we saved you from your own cowardice. Your citadel exists only because the Krogan stopped the Rachni from swallowing it all. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Delatras Doesn't seem like you like that too much. Antagonizing him won't solve anything. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. Unless you enjoy watching infants born without a heartbeat. It's the only thing that's kept the peace. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. That's where you're wrong. Let the pull out the trump card. There was a Solarian, Mela. He took some kind of twisted pity on our females and tested a cure on them. I remember. His methods were barbaric. It gets worse. Some of the females survived. They escaped his lab before you got there, Shepard. Embarrassing for the Solarians. So the Dalatress ordered one of her goon squads to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. No more lies! Those females are immune to the genophage, and they belong to me! Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The pressure's on. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sir Cash. Oh. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. I'll pass on the renegade. Not setting foot on Sir Cash. This will take time. It happens now. As a council specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Delatress seems uh, a bit salty. Not gonna lie. And looks like we're heading there immediately. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Probably going to be taking the R just for the stasis. Coincides very nicely with. Uh, with my biotics, you know, and Edie is pretty decent. She has decoy, but decoy is much better if used on a human-controlled character. And she's also very squishy, as is Liara, so kind of uh, hindering to do that. So let's go Liara Garris. Let's make sure, let's see, shield's plus 25%. I go with the weapon damage. Always like more damage, even though he's probably gonna die a bunch because AI is stupid. But yeah, who cares, right? I have new everything. Take the vindicator, but that is a big pile of do dookie doo doo. Well, what am I trying to say? I don't know. 
But I do have a new weapon mod for that, so I'm gonna be taking that along. And I got a shotgun and a sniper, don't care. And do that. Hmm. Oh well. So, that's good. Let's, uh, skedaddle. <laughs>